Hey everyone, hope you're uh, all doing well today. All right, I'm gonna continue where I left off in the last video talking about uh, process improvements, specifically in the uh, 3M world that uh, was designed, created, and implemented by Toyota that a lot of companies are utilizing. Um, I'm gonna continue to talk about um, uh, you know lean and waste. The first uh, M, of course, Muda means waste. Um, you know, what are the different types of waste? You know, what do you look for in the workplace? That's what this video is going to be, start touching on in a little bit more detail. So Muda, of course, is waste. What are wastes? You can find it online. You can Google it, of course. There's seven wastes. There's eight wastes. Start with seven. And that is Tim Wood. Eight, of course, is, is downtime. They added an extra one in there. But for uh, the seven wastes, uh, Tim Wood, uh, for this video, I'm going to just touch on uh, the Tim uh, portion, and then I'll, I'll close out in the next video with the wood portion. So T is for transportation. Okay, so transportation can be moving stuff around. If you're on a forklift, if you're on a, you know a truck, moving materials, equipment, whatever it may be, from you know point A to point B, are you doing it in a organized fashion? Do you need to do it? Are you moving stuff around uh, when you need to? Uh, there may be times where we don't need to and it's just wasteful you know gas isn't exactly cheap right now electricity you know we want to make sure that we're conserving resources as a business not just cruising around town right so that's something to look at for a waste uh, transportation all right so i is inventory so this is a touchy subject because a lot of companies have gone to uh, just in time which uh, essentially means that if you need something, they'll, they'll go and get it. They don't really have a large inventory line around their warehouse. Saves them money uh, and resources. They don't need to have a big warehouse and a whole bunch of conics is full of stuff for you. But as we've seen, uh, especially with COVID and other issues, that uh, supply chain is kind of hurting around the, the world. Uh, we don't have a lot of stuff in uh, many cases. A lot of things are taking a long time to recover, uh, to get back <clears throat> in that manufacturing and get a, get back in the supply chain. You know, so a business has to look at what is beneficial for themselves and for their customer and client. Do you need a whole bunch of inventory? You know, I've seen it. I've, I've done projects on it where you will have a codex full of stuff and, and you'll forget about it, which is bad because, of course, you should be doing inventories on that. But you open it up and you'll find everything in there is bad it's all rotten it's all garbage you'd be thrown away so that was wasteful right so that's what you look at inventory do you have too much stuff and it's being wasted but there may be times where you may not have enough you may need to have a uh, a supply of something but of course you should be tracking it you should be tracking your your reorder points you should be tracking you know how much you're actually uh, utilizing how much your customer requires so you're not wasting okay this is a this is an important one all right and m is motion so you may be moving all over the workplace so this allows you to look at possible waste in that motion you know is the workplace set up in a way to be organized that gets into cellular manufacturing which i can do another video on but you know, especially if you're in the manufacturing world, but even if you're not, even if you're in the service world, is your workplace organized in a way that you can move whatever you're doing around in an organized fashion around the workplace. You're not zipping and zagging and going all over the place, right? For motion, you can actually use a spaghetti, <coughs> sorry, a spaghetti diagram to see what you're doing right now. You know, are you going all over the place and you can actually put that in the diagram and then your fix is to organize it so you're doing it in a organized fashion of course so motion is another important one that oftentimes folks don't think of you know they're just walking around doing what they're doing they're moving stuff around you know whatever it may be but it can be done in a more efficient manner that may save you time and then in turn money okay so that's the tim portion of Tim Wood. So that's three of the seven wastes and uh, I'll get into the other uh, four in the next video. All right.